I'm not gonna stay in a situation that, that I'm not happy in. It's coming down to the end. And I don't just mean of Kyle Richards' marriage. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is coming down to the season finale next week. It's gonna be an explosive one. Very, very strong family and we always will be. Always will be. So let's get into how we get there. It's still pretty juicy. So let's get into The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season 13, episode 16. I made a rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. It has been a long, at times, esophagus-laden season of Beverly Hills. But as the finale looms, the ladies are looking back at everything that's happened. Sutton is reflecting on letting go of her marriage and accepting her independence now that her ex is moving to London. And Kyle is waiting for the moment she can segue this conversation into being about her marriage. Neither one of us have ever been to therapy. We're going to therapy now. And Mel and I are going together. Oh, there it is. Kyle talks about how Mauricio's work has created a rift between them and how after years of being the person who takes care of their kids' everyday needs, she's feeling a little abandoned now. I want to feel that Mo is prioritizing me as much as I have him all of these years. And we get more of that when Kyle and Mauricio sit down later in the episode to talk about said couples therapy. They both agree it's helping, but there is definitely still tension in the air. We're both changing. We're about to be empty nesters. We've hit our 50s. We're not <laughs> empty nesters yet, though. You keep saying that. And maybe it's just from what we see on the show, but Kyle definitely seems like she's one foot out the door. The things that I wouldn't want my daughters to accept, I'm not going to accept for myself. Make that one and a half. Especially with what goes down in the finale preview as everyone starts to learn the news of Kyle and Mauricio separating. Holy sh and Kyle and Mo sit down their daughters for a family meeting. We haven't told you guys everything because I try to protect you. Meanwhile, it feels like Dorit might be wanting to call one of those family meetings soon enough after PK's reaction to being gone for Mother's Day in this week's episode. Mother's Day should be acknowledged. You're not my mother. Also, Sutton got a second date. That itself is a triumph. I think we should have nicknames, like the hammer. And Erica finally got her apology over the earring drama, whether it was basically coerced or not. And now we can fight about somebody else. I have high hopes for the finale. I feel like this episode was kind of like the fuse, fizzling down into what's gonna be an explosive end of a season. And then we'll get like a three-part episode yelling about what a nurse anesthetist does or something like that. Regardless, I'm gonna be here through it all, so like and subscribe, drop a comment about what you thought about this week's episode below, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>